Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this session, we will discuss exam style questions on page 98 from the kinetic particle model of, of matters. Uh, here, uh, in the first question, we have solid, liquid, and gases are composed of particles. Which of the following statement is, is not true? The particle in a solid vibrate about a fixed position. This is correct. The particle in a liquid are arranged in a regular pattern. So this is not because uh, they are uh, loosely bound while uh, particle in a gas are exerts negligibly small forces on each other except during collusion so this is correct the densities of the most uh, liquids are about uh, 1000 times uh, greater than those of gas because of liquid particles are much closer together than gas particles so this is statement is also correct so the statement b is incorrect no regular patterns in a liquid and uh, the second question is sketch particle diagram for a solid liquid and gases so this is solid liquid and gases the particle diagram and identify the state of matters in which the particles are further apart uh, this gas in which the particles are further apart very much large distance explain B uh, Using the particle model of the matter, how a gas exert pressure on the surface of its container. All the particles in a gas are in a rapid random motion with a wide range of speeds and repeatedly hit and rebound from the surfaces of the container in huge numbers per second. This causes a force at right angle to the surface of the container or a pressure. So this is happens in uh, container, closed container. So, if gas is contained in a cylinder or a, a container, the gas uh, particles will uh, exert pressure on the surface of the container. State and explain how the pressure changes when the temperature of gas increases. Uh, from the gas law, we know that when the temperature of the gas rises, so does the average temperature, average speed and kinetic energy of the particle collusion with the surfaces of the container occurs more frequently and so the pressure of the gas will increase because when the temperature rises its average speed increases kinetic energy of the particles increases and the collusion uh, more collusion with the surface of the containers occurs and more frequently and so the pressure of the gas increases so this is the way that pressure increases with the increasing of the temperature of the gas uh, now question number four the following statement is referred to the pressure exerted by a gas in a container state whether each statement is true or false the pressure is due to the particle of gas bombardment bombarding the surface of the container the this is correct statement so the pressure decreases the gas is cooled at constant uh, volume yes it happens if the volume reduces then uh, temperature reduces and volume will also reduce in a question the pressure increases the volume of the container uh, increases at a constant temperature this is against the Boyle's law so this statement 3 is incorrect statement 3 is incorrect because the relation between pressure and volume is inversely proportional at constant temperature so a pressure and, and the volume will not increase simultaneously but this phenomena will be inverse uh, in part B explain the significance of temperature of minus 273 in terms of particle motion uh, at uh, minus 273 which is an absolute temperature or on a Kelvin scale is the lowest possible temperature at lowest uh, possible zero motion ceases zero molecular motion becomes cease and substance has no internal energy so this is very very important so state the value of the temperature of minus 273 on the Kelvin uh, temperature scale this is zero Kelvin minus 273 is a zero Kelvin uh, calculate the value of the temperature of minus two, uh, 200, uh, 200 Celsius on a Kelvin scale so T is equal to 273 plus theta and theta is minus 200 so it is plus 73 value. Uh, the piston in figure 2.15 is pulled out so from uh, from position x to position y here it was the piston was initially at this position and it is moved away uh, to this point y so initially the 
the length was 10 cm but the cross section was the same so the volume uh, was uh, 10 a cube 10 into a cross sectional area and it increases four times so if the original pressure of the cylinder is uh, 1 into 10 to the power 5 pascal calculate the air pressure when the cylinder is at position y so the pressure will decrease so because we are uh, taking the piston away and volume will increase and pressure will decrease so the temperature is uh, being constant so px py this is p1 and p2 and vx and vy v1 v2 so this is uh, 10 into cross sectional area a and this is 10 plus 30 is 40 cross sectional area so this is vx vy so vx vy uh, px py we have to find the py so py is equal to px vx vy and this is uh, px is 1 into 10 to power 5 at this point the temp pressure was uh, one, uh, 1 into 10 to the power 5 so here we have this and this is 10 into cross sectional area this is 14 to cross sectional area this cross sectional area cancel lot and this is 4 divided by this 0.25 into 10 to the power 5 pascal so the pressure will reduce 4 times so because the volume is increased 4 times so the pressure will reduce uh, to 4 times volume increases so pressure will be uh, one quarter of the initial pressure so if the air pressure uh, when the cylinder is moved if further 10 cm to the left of the position y if uh, we further away 10 cm so its uh, pressure will further reduce to this from 2.25 to uh, 0.2 into 10 because this becomes instead of 40 it becomes 50 and the pressure will be reduced to this thing. so this problem is uh, very very important a, a, a certain quantity of gas has a volume of uh, uh, 10 uh, 30 centimeter cube at a pressure of 1 into 10 to the power 5 pascal assume the temperature remains constant calculate the volume of the gas when the pressure is this and the pressure is this so, this is simply a Boyle's law and the temperature is in constant so P2 can be obtained as this relation so we have to find the volume so P1 V1 upon P2 on substituting this value we have obtained this so volume is uh, if uh, we increase the pressure to the double so the volume will be half if we increase the pressure to the five times the volume will be uh, 1 by fifth of the initial volume that is six uh, alternative to the practical uh, the variation of a pressure of a fixed mass of gas is measured for different volume the results obtained are listed in the following table. so this pressure in terms of 10 to the power 5 pascal and the, this is volume in terms of centimeter cube and one by volume we have to write the one by uh, volume so inverse of volume is one inverse of two is 0.5 1 over 3 is 0.33, 1 over 4 is 0.25, 1 over 6 is 0.167 centimeter cube. And so the plot of the pressure and volume is like this. And if we plot uh, uh, pressure and 1 over V, we will see this. At 4, the pressure is 0.1, uh, volume is, uh, inverse volume is 0.167 at pressure 4 this is 0.67 with uh, so the pressure is increasing we can see from this graph the pressure is increasing and the volume 1 over volume is increasing 1 over volume 1 over volume inverse of volume is increasing while the volume is decreasing and 1 inverse of volume is increasing so this is directly proportional but this and this is inversely proportional. This is increasing and this is decreasing from 6 to 9. So, this is P over V graph is plotted here between this and this value. At 6, it is at pressure uh, 4, the volume is 6. At 
four, this is six. Six, this is four. At six pressure, this is four. At eight pressure, this is three. At eight, this is three. At twelve, this is at twelve pressure, this is two. At twenty-four pressure, this is one. So this is the graph of this two. Two. And now we will see the graph of between this column one and column three. So, so for pressure four, the volume is 0.16. Uh, this to this and six, we have this 0.25. For pressure six, this is 0.25. And for pressure eight, we have pressure eight, we have 0.33. This is above 33 so 0.33 and for 12 we have this 0.5 and for 24 we have this one this is the graph we have plotted this is pressure and this is 1 over b centimeter minus 3 and uh, all the results are in agreement with the equation p is equal to constant yes all the results in agreement with the equation p is equal to constant so that's all from this uh, section 2.1 in the next session we will, uh, we will discuss section 2.2.